In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy the cards necessary to make $500 in under 24 hours. And this video is going to blow your mind away. I promise it. But one of the things you have to understand before I show you how to do this is understanding sports cards and understanding risk, right? So I'm going to show you how to make $500 as easily as possible. Now, a lot of people when they get into sports cards, especially when they get into my program, you know, they want to buy that $2,000 card, get it graded and sell it for six or $7,000. You have to understand how the market works. Okay. When you start buying cards for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars First of all, there's less of them. People that are buying cards in that range, 99% of the time, are people like me who are looking to flip them and make money. So guess what that means? When you see a card out there that it looks like it's in good condition and it's $2,000, chances are it's not in good condition because people touching that card and people looking at that card are looking to make money on that card and get it graded. So the higher end of the card, the harder it is to get that PSA 10, okay? But if you work your way down, and you start buying $50, $75, $100 cards, there's two things that happen. Number one, just think about it, right? Let's take a $100 card of Kenny Pickett versus a $2,000 card of Kenny Pickett. The $100 card, it's less rare. That's why it's only worth $100. So there's just more of it. There's just more of these cards to buy and grade and sell. They're just easier to find. It's just simple math, right? There's a reason it's worth $100. Number two, people dealing with those types of cards don't want to be bothered sending a $100 card to PSA. Maybe it gets a nine and it's not gonna, and you're not gonna make any money. People still have this like notion in their head that PSA takes like nine months to get back to you and the cost to get a card graded is like $200 when in fact, it's not. When I'm speaking right now, you can get a card graded for $19. So you can buy a card for $100 get it graded for $19, and if it grades a 10, you can triple your money, right? The big thing I'm trying to say here, if you're trying to make money as quickly, efficiently, and as easily as possible, if you have $1,000 to spend, it's better to buy 10 $100 cards than one $1,000 card, okay? That's something I teach to my students, and that's something you should be doing as well, okay? Now, the next question becomes, what is the easiest type of car to make money on? And this is, once again, this is an opinion, but this comes from years and years of experience and spending millions of dollars in sports cards. And the easiest card to make money on with the highest margins is Prism. Prism basketball and Prism football, not Prism baseball, because Panini doesn't have the license for baseball, so baseball Prism is not as good story for another day. But the reason why Bowman Chrome Baseball and Baseball is not as good, it doesn't have those as big of margins when you grade a 10. Because a lot of the time when you're buying newer cards to get graded, you're buying these young 18, 19, 20 year old prospects and the collectors that are looking to buy these cards for a few hundred dollars just aren't willing to spend as much, right? Like a double A kid who's 19 years old is just naturally less desirable than like Kenny Pickett or one of these quarterbacks, right? Hopefully that makes sense, but I'm going to go into my computer right here and show you exactly what I'm talking about and kind of walk you through a mini training on how to find these cards, what to look for, so you can buy these cards, buy a few of them in under 24 hours, so you can make $500. Let's hop into my computer. All right, so let's get into it. So now you've probably seen me do this before, but I'll do it again. So we want two tabs open, right? We want one tab to search for cards and the other tab to search for what cards are worth. Okay. So now what I would do if I was looking to buy cards in under 24 hours to make $500, I would start off broad. I'll go 2022 prism newly listed and I would go down here and I probably want to be searching in the range of 50 to like 200. Okay. That's where I'd want to be. And I would click right here where you see, uh, let me find it for you one second. It's actually not here. Sometimes it pops up and sometimes it doesn't. There's usually an option to pick, to look at cards that are greater than not. But let's look into it. So just to keep in mind, this card you see right here is called Monopoly Prism. It's different than regular Prism. I don't believe it's going to sustain value, so I'm not going to buy it. 
I'm only looking to buy regular Prism. So if you see that word monopoly, there's a reason why I'm skipping over it, okay? Keep that in mind. But let's kind of look into it. So um, this is the first card we found. Um, this card doesn't look bad. It's the type of card to make good money on, but you can see this left border is bigger than the right border. This card is not gonna grade for us. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Joel Embiid, I'm, I'm only looking to buy rookies to be perfectly honest with you. From Australia, um, hmm, yeah, this top is a little bit smaller than the bottom. And also this left is bigger than the right. Probably not a card I want to buy. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's be a little bit more specific, right? Sometimes, this is usually what I do is I like to be specific. I like to start off broad, but then get specific. But if I lose my patience, then I just go specific right away. So like, these cards are just gold. Like, oh my God, these are just gold to make money on. Like something like this, ah, it's pretty well centered. It's not bad. Like something like this, I would look what it's worth. So I would type in red, white, blue, prism, Kenny Pickett. And I would search... Or I would click sold items right down here to see what's worth. $36, $39, $38, a PSA 9 is $71, a PSA 10 is, okay. This is gold, right? So we can see this card's worth $36, okay? And if we look at the PSA website we're gonna, where we're going to send the cards to get graded, we can do it for $19. This is, this is for like Pokemon and stuff like that. But this is $19 we can spend to get a card graded. So you tell me, like, this card looks pretty solid, right? You'll probably buy it for about 30, you know, $36, $39. I'll make them an offer. And if it grades a 10, guess what? It's worth $202, okay? And if it grades a nine, it's worth 71. So we'll probably about break even after grading costs and stuff. But if it grades a 10, we're making over $100. So like, I would definitely offer this guy, you know, I would, you know, maybe come in at $30, lowball him a little bit and you know, see what happens. So you can see, offer sent, beautiful, right? That's one card we could easily make $100 on. It's been like two minutes. Um, so you can see there's more of these cards, <laughs> more of these same exact types of cards, but this one's off-centered. You can see the left is bigger than the right. Also, this picture sucks. I can't see it that well. Uh, and this is just Kenny Pickett, right? Think about how many quarterbacks there are. Um, all right, this looks pretty solid. This looks like a card I would buy. Centered, looks nice. Let's read the description. Nothing in the description. Let's see his other items to see if he grades cards or not. Uh, he kind of does, kind of doesn't. Uh, I would definitely give an offer on this card. So it's called a Hyper Prism. So let's type that in. So Kenny Pickett Hyper Prism. And let's see what this card sells for. So at 9 did $180. Raw did $124. Then $122. $144. 108 so I'd probably come in like, you know, low 100. I'd probably buy this card for like 120, 130. It's a 10. It's easily over 300. I mean, easily. So I'll come in at like 100 bucks. Pretty easy. And this is just one guy, right? This is just Kenny Pickett. Um, he is the quarterback that sells for the most. So it is a little bit easier to find cards that are possible to grade and sell. But like, what if we switch it up and we do like a little bit of um, Desmond Ritter, right? The kid for the Falcons. Desmond Ritter. Um, you'll see, so he's not going to have as many cards selling in the range we need them to sell for, but um, he's going to have enough. So, like, this isn't a bad card, but once, ah, uh, it's actually not that off-centered. It looked off-centered to begin, but the left's a little bit bigger than the right, but, like, this isn't a bad card. You could win this in auction. So, like, if you type in Desmond Ritter, and we see what this card is, this is a Red Wave, Red Wave Prism Auto. See what this card sells for. So 242, 250, 212. So like this isn't a bad card, but honestly, the not autographed stuff usually does better when getting graded. It's so like I probably wouldn't offer on this card. You could. If I was in a good mood, I could. I would, but other stuff to buy. Other stuff to spend our money on that's better. This is not a bad card, but you can see this top is way smaller than the bottom. This will not grade for us. Um but hopefully you guys are kind of getting the gist of uh, what I'm trying to do here. You can see it's a lot easier to find Kenny, Pick Kenny Pickett cards. But uh, we, could, we could go to basketball and search for like Paolo Banchero, right? The kid for the Magic is really good. Um, and he, he's going to have a lot of stuff to buy, like a lot. Uh, I think I looked at this card already. <laughs> Never mind. Um, 
Let's see what this one's doing. Uh, this isn't bad. But this top is way bigger than the bottom. Also, it's a weird picture. I don't like when pictures are weird. Usually people are trying to hide stuff, especially stuff like this. If you ever see a picture like this, the reason this picture is taken on this downward angle is the seller's trying to protect the fact that the card's off-centered. So this top is bigger than the bottom. But actually, when you take a picture from this angle, you, you want to be doing it from the opposite way. So, um, so it's harder to see that top. Um, but let's see. What do we got here? Paolo Banchero. These cards are money. Money, money, money. Uh, this doesn't look bad. The top is a little bit bigger than the bottom. But this card doesn't look bad. So let's see what this card's worth. Let's head back to eBay and type in pink, ice, Banchero, prism. Because so once again, I'm not sure what these cards are worth. And let's see, so $69, $40, $66. Yeah, you can see the counter offer on that Kenny Pickett Hyper Prism. Um, you can see it in live time, $55. So like, um, I don't know. Once again, I like to come in low, so I don't know. $35, I'd probably pay like 50 for it. You know, you come in low, decline my offer. Eh. Not, not interested enough, but let's see this counter offer, right? This is actually live time, so like, he countered 170 uh, that's not that good. Come on, you could do better than that. What did I What did I offer him originally? Um, a hundred dollars. Let me. See, I forget what this card was selling for. Hyper, Prism, Picket. One the last one did do one seventy five. Actually, we have a PSA ten sale at three twenty five. So that's probably we probably want to be buying this card for about here one twenty. So like, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get this deal done, but like. I would come in at like one fifteen. I I'd spend up to like one hundred thirty dollars for the card probably. It's probably the most I'd go. Um, but hopefully you guys are getting the idea that there's just so many cards out there to buy and grade at this level, right? It's a lot harder to find cards that are like a hundred, the uh, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, etc. It just is. But like this is the most effective, efficient way to make money ASAP. And I'll leave it off at this card because this one looks pretty good. Um. It's well centered. Um, it's in China. I love cards that are in China because you know they're not graded. It might take an extra day or two to get to you, but that's okay. They'll sell for cheaper because people don't want to buy stuff from China and overseas. And you know it's going to be in pretty solid condition. So I'll leave it off at this card. Uh, let's see what this is. So 370, it's a bigger card. Um, what's, why is the, why, what's the difference with this card? Why did it sell for $62? Why did that sell for sixty-two dollars and this one did three seventy-two? That's weird. Then one did one fifty-three. It's all over the place. Three fifty, three thirty-eight. Holy crap! This card's probably about a two hundred dollar card, but two forty-five, three thirty. So like, and this one's at eighty-two dollars. So like, you know, I would bid. So what I would do, I just bid. So just so it just reminds me, and then I'll come in like last second, and I bid up to like two hundred. I'll see where it's at. But this one is a really solid card, and I would add this to my watch list. So hopefully, this provided you guys some value. This is the fastest way I would make money, or if I was looking to make five hundred dollars as soon as possible. But let's head back to the uh, camera. So hopefully that provided you guys some really really good insight and value right just understand it's just easier to make money hitting a bunch of singles than trying to go for that home run i promise i teach this stuff i see it all the damn time and i was on my computer for what that was a 10 minute training and you can see there's also there's potential few purchases you could buy um the key is you really want to be looking at the centering for those cards because a lot of them are off centered left to right and top to bottom so keep that in mind but you know you buy a few of those cards right you spend five hundred dollars and you get these cards greater to ten you'll be able to make five hundred dollars you'll easily double your money a lot of the time those cards like that red white and blue i showed you of kenny pickett right you can buy it for about 35 dollars spend 19 dollars to get it graded it's worth over 200 as a 10 after fees you get about 170 175 and you're into the card for 60 you sold it for 170 you just almost tripled your money you do that a few times and you're gonna make 500 dollars, right um but one of the keys is a lot of the times you can see what a 10 is selling for so you could see how much money you're gonna be making on the card 
are you going to be able to double your money? That's usually what I tell my students. If you can double your money after fees and everything, go for it, dude. Like, let it rip. Try to make money. But, like, sometimes you'll see, like, a card will be selling for, like, $100. And then a PSA 10 will do, like, $180 for whatever reason. Sometimes it happens like that. Don't buy it then, right? Because even if you spend $100 on the card in a grade 10, after fees, you're only going to make, like, $30 or $40. So, hopefully, all this stuff is helping you out and helping you make money with sports cards i hope you enjoyed it i put a lot of time effort into thinking about this content if you could just like comment subscribe i would super appreciate it i try to respond to my comments as much as possible on youtube i'm gonna drop another video probably around here you can click on my channel if you like this video you'll definitely like the other ones subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one